everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and today I just wanted to come through and have a chit chat with you guys while I do my makeup. It's not a makeup tutorial at all but I will be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look. So I have a new makeup brush set that I want to show you guys. I've been using it for a little while now and I really like it. Vanity Planet is hooking you guys up with 70% off with my coupon code, okay? These makeup brushes cost 100 bucks, but with my coupon code, you can get this set of 15 brushes for only $30. That's $2 per brush. It comes with a brush for your every need. And these are great quality too. They're soft and I haven't experienced any shedding. Other brushes I've used in the past are scratchy and they irritate your skin and they shed all over your face. Not these. These are high quality with an amazing discount. Get 70% off with my coupon code Keisha G R W M. That stands for Get Ready With Me. So first I want to talk about, you know, I've been telling you guys about my book which is coming out very soon. And I keep saying very soon. I don't have an exact date yet because, well, currently I'm having a little complications with my, um, with my cover. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Just a little bit. So um, I'll have that handled very soon. It'll be out really soon. So it's completely done. The writing process is over. And boy, I, I don't like the way I'm looking right now. I haven't been able to sleep very well lately because I've been having these really, really bad headaches. And I just realized that I've been dehydrated. So yeah, sometimes your headaches is your headaches are caused by something silly like that. Like, why are you not drinking water? Drink water. I have a, an alkaline water bottle. It has like a filter inside and it alkalines your water you know if you're not familiar with that here's one of the brushes this is a like a liquid foundation brush and i haven't used a liquid foundation brush like this in a such a long time but it's really effective like a paintbrush and um i'm an artist so but yeah so if you're not familiar with alkaline um basically the way that most people eat today you know our foods very acidic and they leave our bodies very acidic which is not very good at all like that's how you're more prone to getting cancers and diseases and things like that so alkaline water helps to balance you out so that's what I've been well I was doing that a while I was doing that like in the summertime but then I misplaced it my little filter but then I found it again today Thank God, and I've been drinking my alkaline water and my headache is gone. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to keep drinking so that I stay hydrated and I don't want this headache to come back because it's, it really, it really messed me up for the past few days. Like I wasn't able to get work done that I needed to get done. So now today, today Sunday, I'm going to be, I have to get a lot done today to like catch up with myself catch up with my schedule so yeah my book I'll probably have it out February or March March no later than March like if anything maybe my birthday my birthday is March 6th that'd be a cool little gift to myself to like release my book on my birthday but um, if I can have it finished sooner I'll definitely release it sooner here's another one of their brushes I believe this is called a stippling brush I just want to Use it to help blend everything. Like in the mirror, it looks really, really good, but I don't really like the way it looks on the camera. So recently, I went to a crate and barrel event. My management hooked me up, and I took my friend Brittany with me, and it was really nice. They had like gourmet, healthy foods, which wasn't all that delicious not so much I mean that's the thing like you ever watch like those cooking shows and stuff like those competitions and they put all these ingredients together and it's just like whoa those ingredients are good like on their own but like why are you making that combination it's kind of weird but one of the combinations that was really weird that I actually liked was this um, mushroom soup with marshmallow topped on top marshmallow topping it was actually really good it sounds really weird but it was really good 
Here's another vanity planner brush. I'm gonna, I realized I like, did my eyebrows but I didn't complete them. I didn't conceal. Hmm. But yes, beauty sleep is everything. Like these, I don't even wanna call them bags because bags are like when it's like puffy, right? But mine like sink in, which sucks because my eyes are big already. Like and it just makes my eyes look all bulgy even more so Ugh. but yeah back to this crate and barrel event it was really cool the the food was was interesting um but the the like the sweets were really really good and um you might have seen on my insta story or maybe even on snapchat i put a little on snapchat um but yeah they had like uh some massage massagers mas masseuses mas whatever they, um, I got like my life given to me. Um, I got a neck and shoulder and upper back massage. That's so good. Now I've gotten professional massages before, like multiple times, but like that was by far the best for like a ten minute massage. That was amazing. Like, woo! And I believe the mas the massagers. I don't even know if I'm saying the right word, but you know what I'm trying to say. I believe they're from Spa Chicks. I think that's what they're called, Spa Chicks. And they also had like a lady there mixing essential oils. What's next? Under eyes. She was mixing, or I should say, she was mixing like a body oils. And um, there was like a little chart on which essential oils to add to do what, like as far as like your mood, whether it be energizing or uplifting, or like just balance calm things like that and I got a mixture it was um, lemongrass and rosemary and it was for energizing and another thing and because I feel like I my energy levels is so low like sometimes yeah I need to like be more consistent with my healthy eating and I'm running out. I love this concealer. I'm running out. I need to be more consistent with my healthy eating and just do better. Oh, and at the event, they they gave flower arrangements, little flowers. I love flowers. And um, I, yeah, I didn't always love flowers like that, but like I'm starting to really get into flowers. Not like... Like flowers that you don't like see every day. Roses are cool. Roses are very beautiful. Don't get me wrong. There's some white roses in there, but um, I mean like more exotic flowers, like the flowers you have to go to the florist to get, not the ones that you get at the grocery store. No shade, but all the shade. Regardless, but even the ones from the grocery store, they're still beautiful too, and I still do love and appreciate those as well. Like I do. I don't want to sound bad and bougie, okay? <laughs> I'm really not bougie at all. I'm just a chick from around the way. Speaking of which, in my book, I know I'm all over the place, um, but in my book, for those of you who are not familiar with my, what my book is even about, I'm writing up, I wrote about some memoirs and how certain things that I've experienced, how they impacted my self-love. The book is called More Than a Hair Journey. The Black Woman's Guide to Self-Love and Lock Maintenance. So I'm talking about how going on a natural hair journey or a lock journey, how that will play a part in your self-love. And yeah. So I talk about like my experience, another brush, powder. I talk about my experience um, transitioning to natural and um, starting my locks in college or well I started, actually started my locks when I was home from college and then I you know I'm talking about like when I went back to school with my locks and different struggles I had at first and yeah it, like, lock journeys really do help you build character and they really help you learn yourself and trust yourself and all sorts of things that really builds you up as a person and I talk about that in the book also talk about things like that you know 
that affect your self-love that are completely irrelevant to your hair like your family and relationships and friendships yeah so a, a bit about that you know I don't put all my business out there because I'm not that kind of person like it's not gonna be a tell-all or anything like that <laughs> but um I do get kind of personal at least when it comes to like my dad I don't think I'm not very personal with anything else oh and one of my friends who passed away um not even like uh, yeah I, I definitely like beat around the bush a little bit because I don't want to put people's business out there but yeah I don't really talk about people and I'm not calling anybody out or anything like that it's it's not a negative book at all it's really just uplifting and I'm talking about my journey and how and how I learned certain lessons and oftentimes we like blame our parents for certain things but like you gotta or not even just our parents but we blame people for certain things that happen in our lives and yeah a lot of times people do play a big role in the things that happen to us but we have to but we can't like or at least i believe that we shouldn't demonize them for the things that they've done to you because you're not a perfect person like they're not demonizing you are they i mean even if they are you shouldn't demonize them just remember that people do things based on what they know if you feel like somebody didn't treat you right they treated you how they knew how to treat you that could mean that you didn't adequately show them how you needed to be treated or that could could just mean that they learned that Oh, you treat people this way. And they didn't really know any better. And I feel like that's kind of, um, it's one of the best ways to learn how to forgive people. Understanding and remembering that you're at different stages in your life journey. And no one is in your experience. No one is in their experience besides them and besides you so we're not horrible people we're not no one is a horrible person just remember people are who they are because of what they know oh, speaking of horrible people boy I just said there's no horrible people but do you see what is going on here in America like I remember um, like during the election like during like the like the build up like the campaigning and things like I remember just being so annoyed I'm like I cannot wait until what's his name loses so I can stop hearing his name stop hearing all this bullshit that has been like clogging my ears I don't even watch the news don't bring me no bad news like like don't stress me out <laughs> shout out to anybody who peeped that reference but I just like listen the way I the way I'm set up right now in my life like life is stressful enough like my own individual personal life <laughs> and the people around me like that's stressful enough I don't need to hear about all of the stuff that's going on like you do need to hear you do need to but like not every day like it's a lot so that's why like, I don't really watch the news but um I'm gonna dust some of this off but and and like the whole time I'm thinking okay let's hurry up and lose so we can stop hearing your damn name um and then he gonna win like what like what the hell and <laughs> and I remember thinking you know what before he won I remember thinking you know what everyone is all you know scared of him winning like but like let's be real what's the worst that could happen that's what I said what's the worst that could happen because honestly I just feel like yes pres certain presidents like they, they do implement certain things that are like really good or like really bad but for the most part like i at least me personally this may, may be a little ignorant because i'm just only ref like referring to my own experience the things or i felt like the things that the president does doesn't really like affect you that much like as much as you know like your local government i feel like has more of a 
of an impact on your life. But then I'm seeing the things that he he started to do and or in like at least plans that that he's showing that he's being proactive towards. It's like whoa, nah, nah. This is not okay. Like how does how do we let this happen, y'all? But at the same time, I feel like listen, this maybe was meant to be. Well, everything, listen, everything happens for a reason, right? Maybe the reason for this was that, like, we needed to wake up. More of us needed to wake up and, like, realize, like, what we're doing here. What's the saying? You must destroy in order to rebuild. Yeah. So, destruction is ahead of us. Okay. I want to do, like, a dark look. This is Valentine's Day, so like I still want it to be like romantic, but I want it to be dark. Nice fluffy blending brush from Vanity to Planet. Okay, so can I talk about something a little lighter now? Like, yeah. So, did you guys see the new edition movie? Man, first of all, let me say this. I am, like I said before, I'm 25. New edition is before my time. But like that's not a good excuse because I, I listen to like old music, like even older than the 80s. Like um, I love me some like Motown ever music. I really, really do. And I do know, you know, who sings what from, from back then and stuff like that. But like before, before this week, if you asked me what songs New Edition sing, I would have been like, honestly, I really didn't know, but at the same time, I knew all of those songs. <laughs> I knew all of like their biggest hits, but I did not know it was New Edition. For instance, Candy Girl, like, I know I'm not the only one who thought that was the Jackson 5. I mean, granted, obviously, well, I wasn't there, so it's not that obvious to me, but Candy Girl came out long after Michael Jackson's voice, you know, dropped a little bit his balls dropped a bit and his voice dropped a bit so like i think he was probably on like off the wall maybe even thriller I'm not sure by the time candy girl came out so this no way that was michael jackson but yeah the movie was really good i'm very happy for bet you know i feel like they did a really good job and i know like a lot of people always throw shade at bet and i i do understand it but um i've always been the a bet watcher like, I watch BET. Like, a lot of people don't watch BET. Oh, BET is this, BET is that. I watch BET, I'm not gonna lie. I watch BET, and... Well, I mean, a lot of people are, like, you know, disappointed. And I am, too, that it's not black-owned. I do enjoy seeing my people on, t on TV, and that's one of the channels where I can see my people. Plus, like, I, like the old 90s um, or 2000s sitcoms and stuff, like reruns. I love watching... My wife and kids, and the Parkers, and Moesha, and stuff like that. You know, honestly, I kind of blur BET and Centric and TV One, so I'm not even sure if those shows are playing on BET exactly. But, um, <laughs> one of those shows at least plays on BET. And, like, the, the movies, like, I like hood movies. I like those straight-to-Netflix movies sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so, I, I like BET. But yeah, I love biopics. Um, it was a really good one. And, you know, I, I love the Temptations movie. All five hours of it. Is it five hours? And the Jackson 5 movie, I love that too. So, I mean, no, I'm not going to sit down and watch the whole thing at one time. Which is why I'm, great that they, I'm grateful that they released it in, you know, in three nights. The nudist movie, that is. But, um... I would watch it in bits and pieces. And I didn't I didn't realize Bobby Brown was so David Ruffin-esque. <laughs> and people sleep on Wood Harris. I love Wood Harris. I listen. Painful Ace. He's like so super chill like <laughs> in that role. And he was in, in um this movie as well. The, his his character was chill. I like him a lot. What's your favorite biopic? My favorite is definitely 
Get On Up, the James Brown movie, mostly because Chadwick Boseman played James Brown and Chadwick Boseman was my theater teacher in 10th grade for the first semester and he glow up he glowed up so i'm like really really happy for him i mean he also was in um 42 jackie robinson biopic but i felt like that movie wasn't i mean it was good like it was but it wasn't one of those movies that i would watch over and over again yeah i really like these brushes Absolutely. Boy, I sure do love playing with my eye makeup because that can really lift up your face. Totally. Like, I felt like I looked like a zombie. And now, I look like I'm well rested. Well, that's the power of makeup, right? I'm trying to come on my channel more often with either no makeup or like minimal makeup. Because I don't want to like act like... I wear makeup all the time, every day. I really don't. I don't. I just really like the glamour. And I really don't have anywhere else to get glamour. To get glam, you know? So, I put on my makeup for YouTube. Just keep blending, keep blending.